This is segment three of the Bible says this, what say you, Psalms 33, verse four, the A clause, for the word of the Lord is right. This is Patrick Wooden, Bishop Wooden here. I am with her, not Hillary, but Kimberell. Pastor Kim Burrell, Kim Burrell, who preached the truth at her own church. This lady is coming under great condemnation and attack for what she preached to her congregants in her church. And what she preached is in line with scripture and everybody's trying to blow this lady up. You got Ellen DeGeneres who canceled Kim Burrell from uh, her show like, that really matters, okay? Uh, uh, isn't, isn't Ellen about to go off the air? I think she is. Ellen's run her course. Bye, Ellen. Listen, Kim, if the world hates you, Jesus said, know that they hated me first. And there's something to be said. I, I think it's something wonderful to be said about receiving push back from the world. Because I, I want to show you some things that the Bible says. But Pastor Kim Burrell, now, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you, woman of God. I'm with you, pastor. I'm with you, colleague. Stand your ground. Don't quit. Don't fold. Don't be like these weak male preachers who fold like a cheap tent, who will preach the truth under, you know, if you can put a blanket on them. Uh, or maybe a paper bag on their head where you can't see who it is. Oh, they'll cry loud then. But as soon as you put them uh, in a, on a stage or on a platform where it matters, they'll dance all around the truth. That's just the way it is. You know, for eight years, uh, many preachers had nothing to say about morals when it comes to the president, nothing to say about uh, anything, wouldn't say a word about Obama, and all of a sudden now, they got, they, they, they're weighing in. Thank God for you, Kim Burrell. Now, I don't know whether you, you knew that all of this fire would come as a result of you preaching to your own folk. But I tell you what, all I got to say about your preaching, that's good preaching, girl. And you have a standing invitation to come to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ and preach the same message the same way. And I guarantee you, we'll say amen. <laughs> and I'll pay you a good offering too. I'm known for doing, doing good by the speaker if they preach the truth. And if they don't, we still do good, but they ain't coming back. Now, Kim, I have a message for you. Kim, the Bible says uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. Now, now I'm with you. I'm with you, Kim. But you got you to gotta hear this. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Now, Kim, um, you are a great singer. Nominated for a Grammy. You should have won 10. All right? Very few voices out there that are superior to yours, and that's without controversy. And you sang with the likes of Harry Connick Jr., Whitney Houston, Shaka Khan, uh, Burrell, um, Stevie Wonder, George Clinton, R. Kelly, and uh, Missy Elliott. <clears throat> yes, and uh, and your latest album. A blend of secular, I'm leaning to the left, and spiritual themes, titles, uh, themes titled The Love Album, entered number five on the Billboard Gospel Charts. Kim, now you're going to have to decide whose table you're going to eat from. That's part of the reason why, you know, uh, we got this problem. You can't do both. Now, we can't pretend that the Bible doesn't say, Wherefore, come ye out from among them, and uh, be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Now, that's what the Bible says, Kim. Pastor, Pastor Burrell, 
uh, Patrick here, we're just having a conversation between two colleagues. And I'm with you. I'm backing you 100%. But now the Bible says, uh, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness. Now, I don't have a problem whatsoever in singing songs that glorify filial love. You know, some people say that if, you, if you're a Christian, you should only sing songs about the cross and Jesus Christ and all that. Personally, I, I, don't, I, I believe that Christians can sing about a relationship between men, a man and a woman, a man and a woman, uh, that, that level of love. Because, I mean, what, what is, you, we got six or six books in the Bible, and one of the books in the Bible deal with the love between men, men and women, the Song of Solomon. Now, none of them deal with love between two persons of the same sex. See, but if you want to sing and, and do a nice song that Christians can listen to, where that Christian husband can, you know, enjoy his wife and get a little groove on, you know, ain't that, Patrick wouldn't have no problem with that. But George Clinton, Missy Elliott, Shaka Khan, all these people, Pharrell, all of them, they, they leave, they're hanging you out to dry because here's what they want. They want your soul, Kim Burrell. They want your soul. The world will love you, my lady, fine woman of God. They will embrace you. They will tell you how you can sing. But there's a price to be paid. Do you not remember when Satan took our Lord up on a high mountain and showed him the kingdoms of the world and the glory of the kingdoms? He said to our Lord, all these things will I give thee if you will bow down. And worship me. Nothing is free, Kim Burrell. And Kim Burrell, or Pastor Burrell, nobody makes it in the business on talent alone. Vows are taken. Allegiance are made. Hollywood, the sports industry, the entertainment industry, enjoy taking those who claim to be Christians and feel, give them lyrics and, and roles in movies that are filled with vulgarity and profanity. They love having them to sing and to be seen in places taking the Lord's name in vain and hanging with the wrong crowd. They want your soul, Kim Burrell. They, uh, uh, Ellen would gladly have you on her perverted show if you would just take back what you said. And by the way, the soundtrack, the, the song you did with, the, with this movie that's coming out, girl, you are rocking. Because God knows, you, 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 look, Kimberell, Pastor Burrell, you can sing in your sleep with pneumonia and the flu and horse <laughs> with a headache. You got it. But to stand for Jesus Christ, you got to take sides. Who's on the Lord's side? The question was asked. As for me and my house, Joshua said, we're going to serve the Lord. You got to take sides. You can't eat from both tables, Pastor Burrell. Notice what they've done. They've invaded your church and you are being persecuted and you are taken off of Ellen because of what you said at your church. Your church. You're, you're pastoring your congregation and all of a sudden you got all these people calling, calling your speech hate. And your sister, Yolanda, Yolanda, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, uh, you, you ought to be ashamed with the things that you, you've said about your sister. You, so much for uh, a sister standing together and that kind of a thing and, and calling the speech hate. And you're basing yours on because you got some family members who are homosexual and lesbian. You ought to be preaching to them because if they don't get saved, I'll say it, they're going to hell. If they don't come out of it, they're going to be lost, just as is true with the adulterer, the liar, the thief, and the rest of them. We don't get our uh, morality as Christians from pedigree. We do not get our morality as Christians from uh, biology. We don't get our morality as Christians from our family members. We get our morality as Christians from the Bible. So, so much, spare me this. I, I got family members who are that way. Who doesn't? But the Bible is still right. You got family members who are thieves. Are you going to stop preaching against thievery? We got family members who, praise the Lord, do all kinds of things. Are we going to now not preach against it because we have a family member? What kind of, what kind of theology is that? 
Since when has, say, has, has saying what God says considered hatred even amongst in the church community? And then you got the people like Yolanda on one end, and then you got this eerie silence from all of these preachers with the chains and the robes because you don't want to dare say anything that may sound like you're, you're somehow or another going against Obama because for eight years, for eight years, you were silent. For eight years, men, uh, Kim, I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching from a position of strength because they all came against me. But I'm alive and well and strong reports of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm doing better than ever. I live on better than ever street because let me tell you something. The God of the Bible says that he would fight our battles. And Kim Burrell, he'll fight your battles. Now, Hollywood may dismiss you. Some of your so-called friends may turn their back on you. The ladies in the movie, uh, they may, Octavia and all the rest of them, they may uh, turn their back on you and uh, say that you're uh, embarrassing. You didn't embarrass me. I'm proud of you. You didn't embarrass Jesus. You didn't embarrass anybody who believes in biblical um, um, Christianity. Williams posted and said, I condemn hate speech of any kind. There's no room in this world for any kind of prejudice. What? Yes, there is. Uh, my greatest hope is for inclusion and love for all humanity in 2017 and beyond. Basically, what Pharrell, Pharrell said was blah, 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 blah. This means nothing. Since when has telling people the truth been considered hate? It's not, you, you told the truth, Kim Burrell, stand your ground, but you're going to have to decide. Pharrell, Octavia, Janelle, and all of them, they've made their decisions. You got to make yours. They're not going to include you if you're going to stand with the Bible. Jesus says, if you're ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you. You're going to have to decide whose side you're on. You can't do both. They're not, and it's not against, not that the church won't let you do both, because the church is so watered down now, you can do anything. Our church put talent above everything, talent above morals, talent above everything. If you got the talent and the money, in this day and time, for the most part, the church will hear you, but the world won't. If you're going to be one of them, those devils are saying, we want your soul. But our Lord said in Matthew 16, what is a man profited? Man, mankind, human, what is a woman profited, Kimberell? If you gain the whole world, profit, pastor, and lose your soul. Don't lose your soul over these people. Stand your ground. The Bible says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They, the false teachers, are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. You see, when you are of the world, the world loves you. The world embraces you because you're one of them. But let me tell you, when you are not of the world, the world will hate you. The world will come against you. And Kim, what you're learning is, you know, they don't care if you pastor your, your, your church down there. And they'll let you sing until you say something that matters. Like you did the other day. I thought it was good preaching. Now, uh, Pastor Burrell, you're going to have to decide, you know, uh, wh wh whose side you're on. Can't be on both sides. They're not going to let you. Woman of God, it is my sincere prayer that you stand your ground. I am proud of you. Um, we don't necessarily have a, a, a relationship going. Uh, I respect you. You've always been respectful to me. Um, uh, but what you did, you have gained the respect of those who believe in the inerrancy of Scripture. You have gained the respect of those who believe that the Bible is right. Now you have, oh my, you have riled up Ellen and Hollywood and the wicked folk and Yolanda. They, they're all calling your, your speech hate. It wasn't hate. You offered deliverance. I love you, Kim Burrell. I'm proud of you. I applaud you. Stand your ground, woman of God. You're stronger than the average male pastor that I know of. Keep preaching. Now the Bible says this. What say you? Everybody, applaud Kimberell. Yay!
Go, Kim!